Hello and welcome back to one of my favorite lessons, debugging multi-threading and multi-process applications. So, welcome to our session. Debugging concurrent applications can be challenging due to the complexity of the synchronization and potential of race condition in deadlocks. Okay, to be honest, it's 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 very hard to debug uh, multi-threaded applications because they running on, on the same time and what do you need to do? How do how you can find the error if you try to run uh, some code and you uh, add a crash? So the crash is infinity because you have a lot of threads and they don't stop crashing. So what we can do? So what are the challenges in current current debugging? So non-deterministic behavior, the execution order of the threads can be vary, leading to un predictable bugs. So you can run your code and, and it will work fine and in the second time it will corrupt. So it's, it's very unpredictable. Deadlocks. Occur when two or more threads or processes wait infinitely for each other to release resources. We saw that earlier all the time when you have uh, uh, the resource that two uh, processes or threads once and one way to the other, you know this. Race conditions happen when multiply threads or processes access to a shared data simultaneously. Okay, so let's talk about basic debugging strategies. First of all, and my favorite, logging. It's an extensive logging can help you understand the application state and trace issues. It's like printing, but you have in Python a library called logging. I will I will add you an entire class about logging where we'll, when we will write your own new logging class. To be honest, I take my class of my logging class and I put it in on every uh, project of mine. You have error logs, info logs, debug logs. It's better than prints because it's more convenient, you can save it to file, you can track better, only advantages. So the second one is conditional breakpoints. Set a breakpoint conditional on the state of shared resource for a spe or a specific threads process identifications. So you can add a breakpoint if you use PyCharm or, or VS Code, you can use the PyBD PyDB uh, library or in Python you, that you can uh, add uh, in your code a breakpoint. You have a lot of strategies to add a breakpoint in your code. And the last, dump analyst. Analyzing dumps can provide us insight into the state of each thread process at a specific point of time. Like imagine if I open uh, my task manager and I open the process and when you you know you have in your code some uh, default uh, difficult uh, uh, calculation you ask from your process or your friend to save the current cpu and memory status so you can find in which point on your code the cpu or your memory based if you choose if you chose a thread or process is the highest and then you can solve your problem so let's talk about tools for debugging. You have logging, the login module, as I said, you have PyDB, it's your Python debugger, and you have external tools, like IDs like PyCharm or VS Code, provide us uh, advanced debugging capabilities, when I will show you this later. So how you can debug deadlocks? First of all, identify a uh, locking order, ensure that all threads or processes Acquire locks in the consistent order to prevent deadlocks. Secondly, timeouts. Implement timeout when acquiring the resource to avoid, to avoid in the infinite waiting. Like we saw in my code, you can add time.sleep of a, a little bit of time, like 0 0.1. And last of all, a thread or process dump, as I said, to analyze your CPU or your I.O. So, how you can debug race conditions? 
you can use thread synthesizers, use tools that detect trace conditions by analyzing memory access patterns, or manual inspection, carefully review code paths that access shared resource. So if you write your own code, it will be a little bit easy for you to find where you use your, your shared resources. But if you have a, a someone other code, like if you, if you work in your office and you, and you get someone else's code, you need to, to do a code review and find all the ways that all the places where you, you, your code is used a shared memory uh, resource. So, couple tips for me to you. Minimize shared state, because as I said, reduce the complexity and regular code review. So, check your code, to be honest, check your code, Bec because if you will check your code, you will fix your issues early in the development cycle. In an healthy development cycle, you need to do code review, and then you will find your problems. Okay, this is all for this lesson. I will see you in the code. Bye-bye.